Hello all. A little bit of... I got three movies I went to the dollar store. I'll start off with the DVD. I got Stardust Memories on DVD for a buck and a quarter. Uh, Athena, Goddess of War. With Jang Woo Sung. J B J A. There's a Blu-ray. And Juliana Moore. Ken Watanabe. Del Canto. So, but then these came in the mail actually on yesterday, but I was in no shape. <laughs> Started mowing grass, my yard's messed up. I slid down to the gully and I got stuck. I had to get a chainsaw and cut a path through fallen trees, which my, my gully's uh, a mess. Uh, I don't ever mow certain parts of my gully because. It's overgrown, and if I end up sliding down it, uh, and I get trapped in the overgrowth, it's like <laughs> it's like being stuck in the wilderness, basically. Uh, one of these days, I'll show you how my yard is. Uh, Ten years ago, I bought the place where I was beforehand in my in the trailer where we lived. Uh, I didn't have my comic books there. My comic book strip uh, and my toys were broken between two, two houses, my dad's house and my uncle's house. My toys were stored at my uncle, my uncle Nephi's house and my Aunt Martha's, which I just found out my Aunt Martha died uh, two weeks ago. And uh, it was one of these things where my Aunt Martha was always favorite her side of the family and uh, my uncle died before her. So uh, my uncle Nephi, uh, my cousin Lynn, my brother and me, Basically, when my uncle died, we were wrote, we were written out of the will. So, her niece on her side of the family got everything. So I'm glad I got my stuff out of her house ten years ago because if I left out, if my stuff was still there, she would have got all my stuff because it just happened to be there. In fact, uh, I had uh, leftover copy movies from when I looked overseas. She probably got all my all those copy VHS tapes because they were still there. But, uh, because we, no, no, we weren't, nobody contacted us about nothing. We found out because my dad's sister, now this was my mom's brother's wife. My dad's sister notified my dad two days ago that she passed away. So, because nobody in that family notified us that she passed. In fact, my brother used to do work for her until she got snotty with my brother. Because my brother actually had to go to the hospital for something. And she wanted my brother to cancel her appointment to take her somewhere. And my brother said no, and then she got upset at him. That shows you how much she cared about us. Her, her, With her, everything mattered. Her stuff mattered more than my brother's health, basically, so... So I was like, but I got Jungle Hunt complete in the box for the 2600. And it's not like uh, she had stuff I wanted. Uh, one of the things that she had that was supposed to be promised to me and my brother was when my mom and my dad lived overseas, um, they bought grandfather clocks. My mom and dad had one. And the exact same one, my, my mom and my dad picked one up for my aunt and uncle. And the deal was that each one of us gets one when they pass. My brother and me would get one, and the other one would get the other one when they passed. Which, that'll never happen. Like I said, that won't happen. No. But, out of the whole, out of her side of the family, it was one of the things. There... Like I said, they had, she had three brothers and her, and like I said, my uncle and aunt had no kids. And out of the three brothers, only one of the brothers had a daughter. But out of this package, we got, let me just put these out. I bought a few Atari games complete in the box. 
I'm still waiting for one package of uh, comics to come. Who do we, oh, Keegan went out the front and comes in the side. Packing peanuts, I love them. No, 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 I don't want them everywhere. Packing peanuts, you love them, we'll find them. Love them someplace else. I got Snail and Squirrel. It's a German game for the Atari. I figured I live in Germany. I think I should have something German. You're not going to open it. it. Technically, it is open, but it's a PAL game. I figured. Jungle Hunt. Yep. And I got... Something. I want to show it. Show it. Say the name of it. Slot machine. Yep, slot machine. So, three more Atari 2600 games. I'll have to go downstairs and yeah. put these in plastic cases and check them out. But just a little... It's funny, you know, uh, when my mom was living, everything was fine. Our family got along. And I got my, I'm wearing one of my Matthew's Father's, yeah, even though Father's Father. Day is not for another couple of weeks, and so my birthday is not for another couple of weeks. This is one of the Father's Day birthday shirts my wife bought me, Masters of the Universe Res Revelation. That was on clearance on pennies. I got this for him for Christmas. Awesome dad. Yeah, he got me this for Christmas. Awesome dad. Even though I'm grandpa. But, uh, I'm still waiting for another package from a guy on Facebook I bought. I'm still building another package. Every time he has an auction, I just keep dollar bin books or whatever. Uh, oh. Yesterday, I twisted my bad foot, even though I'm still wearing a brace from the plantar fasciitis. Yesterday, when I was mowing grass, the kids and the dog, like, they dig holes in the front yard, and, of course... Rain, grass grew, and I'm walking, and guess what I did? I stepped in a fucking hole and twisted my ankle on the bad foot. So yesterday, on top of that, I couldn't put no weight on it, so I'm like, eh, that's nice. On top, I'm running running the mower into the gully. Oh, crazy stuff. And then on top of that, my daughter uh, had a function yesterday for the FFA, the Future Farmers of America, where uh, there's a place called Franz Dairy Barn, which they, it's a soft serve ice cream place, where they had a thing where they had a cow down there. So they're like, oh, you can come, come pet the cow. So she heard in the future farmers, they went down there, so I had to drop the kids off because our blue car needs a new, I guess, needs a new battery. So uh, when it rains, it pours. It's like, oh, crazy stuff. But today I got to finish cutting grass. I got all kinds of stuff around the house to do it's just it's mad yeah i always thought you know my mom and my dad made everything look easy which i don't know how they ever did it ha raising two kids having a house working a job and my my dad worked my mom stayed at home and mom did not only took care of two kids she ra she did hair on thursday friday for a bunch of the ladies around the house and she ran my aunts pretty much anywhere they wanted to go and volunteered for the PTA and did all kinds of you know stuff for other people and it was just like I just don't know how she did it so my mom was a very caring giving person especially around the holidays like I said she baked cookies fruit you know fruit cake I just because I barely can, I barely can hold it together on normal days. Uh, but of course, things were simpler back then. You know, they have all this technology to bring stuff closer together. I think we're farther apart than this country's ever been. You know, we had race riots, and I actually think the country uh, was more close back then than it is now. My opinion is the United States, we're nothing but united. And that is the saddest thing that there is. 
I keep saying that, and I feel that that's the, the most truest statement there is to make. I, I go to the schools, and I, I see, you know, I mean, when we went to school, there was no metal detectors in schools, you know. I, I, you know, I just, I'm just flabbergasted with everything. Our comic books, all the stuff goes on, you know, with the collectibles, the collectible market. I just saw a thing about Funko Pops, how, you know, the market for them is, well, you know, everything's oversaturated. And, you know, look at the movie industry. I mean, you're, you're I mean, everything. You know, I just watched Quantum Mania, and I was like, just shook my head. I was like, I actually thought it was the worst of the three Ant-Man movies. I liked the first one. I, I, I liked the second one. I thought this one, I was like, you know, I they, they locked to me, something, something was lost from it. I, I actually thought the comedic element was, you know, the first two movies, Michael Pena and, and the guys, that that meshing of, you know, it was something was just, something was just missing from it. You know, And I actually think that the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe is just sort of like unraveling. It's just like, it, it's losing its cohesiveness, is basically. I actually think, you know, as, as they're going, it's not, it's not adhering anymore. It's just like, boom. Uh, it's just like they're just, you know, when, when they originally started, it had a good, well, when they're thinking, I think now what they're just doing is just they're just throwing stuff together, and it's just like losing its, it's losing its, you know, intertwining this basically. They're trying to keep it to where it's like you know it's, it's supposed to be like this, but it's more like very like barely touching it as far as I'm, it's like barely like barely sticking together basically is what I want to say. Uh, yes, it's part it's like basically Marvel, but it's like you know oh. We're barely keeping it together, basically, is what I want to say. Yes, it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it's it's losing something as it's going forward. And I watched Shazam Fury of the Gods. Uh, I actually thought that was okay. What, you, what they should do is... If you're gonna do a whole, you should, they should get like all the writers to sit down before they even plan this. What they should do is like basically write 20 movies at once, sit down and actually sit down and have a writers sit down and block together and maybe like write 20 movies at once and say, okay, here, boom, and then start the production of that, and then another 20 movies once those are done and start production, and boom, and they'll do that. That's, to my opinion, that's how it should be done. But, that's my thinking. At least this way, you have a coherent plot point and intertwine. It's not like uh, you're just doing it and trying to sew it together as you go. It's actually coherent and written together. So everything fits perfectly. A lot of stuff is just totally right. Because I never liked... Uh, with, first off, I still think Disney will beat you to death with throwing stuff out there just to throw stuff out there and make money. That goes with Marvel, Star Wars... Now that they own Fox, they're gonna be, they're gonna beat you to death with alien predator stuff, just to get the to get their money back on buying the stuff. Now my understanding is, you know, uh, they they bought uh, now that they're I guess they're gonna try to buy you know out for the comic books they're gonna try to get GI Joe and Transformer rights for the comic books. I'm like, uh, okay, what else are they gonna do? There's got to be some kind of monopoly that they can't beat, they can't, 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 can't keep getting this stuff. Uh, 
<sighs> but video is long enough. I'd like to thank all you for viewing and subscribing. King Joel.